I saw this ridiculous comment claiming discrimination is only about race, religion, or sex. Not weight. Seriously. Let's set the record straight about weight-based discrimination. Discrimination is the unjust or prejudicial treatment of different categories of people, especially on the grounds of ethnicity, age, sex, disability, and or wait for it, wait. I feel like in today's world, we don't really have anything to fight for anymore, at least not here in the West. So we have to come up with our fake ideas or justices in order to try to find some way to like fight against something, right? We always need to fight. And I, I, I don't know why these people have chose this particular path of fighting because there are so many better things that I feel like you could probably fight for, right? Like maybe you could fight for... I don't know, like homeless people having access to like more houses or something like that, or like maybe getting these people off drugs or maybe advocating for better, I don't know, like financial control over your life and things like that, like making better financial decisions. But like this is just, this is bottom of the barrel. This is very bottom of the barrel when it comes to discriminations, dude. And don't get me wrong. I know that discrimination is like a big problem, but I feel like people often sleep on Discrimination is not necessarily a bad thing in the sense of like you discriminate every day. I discriminate every day in the sense of like, for instance, when I go to the grocery store, I'm not buying $9 bread or I'm not going and I'm not buying that like $30 um, sirloin or whatever it is because I don't think it's worth it for me. And if you want to talk about it from like a systemic aspect, people discriminate all the time based off of gender, race and all this other stuff. And I'll give you a good example. Like, for instance, when you go to the bathroom, most bathrooms here in America are oriented based off of gender. So when I go into the bathroom and I'm going to the man's bathroom, you're probably going to the woman's bathroom or the other or the man's bathroom too. But usually if a man goes into the woman's bathroom, that's frowned upon and usually discriminated against, right? So like we have laws that are usually okay to discriminate against certain peoples in certain aspects. And then also when it comes to jobs, like if you need a particular person to be physically fit to do a job, then guess what? You're going to be negated from that job because you're too fat to participate in doing jobs like that. And I don't think that's like a far-fetched idea. If you can't, if you don't have the facilities in order to adequately do the job, you're not going to be able to do it. That'd be like hiring a guy and you go, listen, dude, I need you to like drive places from like place to place to place to place. And the guy goes, oh, I don't have a car. Am I supposed to hire you? No, because you don't have a car. So if you are not able to drive, how am I going to hire you as a driver? The same thing here. If you're somebody that needs a job and you are physically unable to execute most jobs, because a lot of jobs require you to stand, then you're not going to be hired. And I get it. It sucks. It does suck. But simultaneously, dude, you can't expect employers, you can't inspect, expect society to just hire you or give you money based off of something that you have like, you, you have control over like this, bro. They want to make money. People want to make money, dude. We live in a capitalistic society. Whatever you guys want to say about capitalism or maybe you do or do not like it, that's regardless of the point. We live in a capitalistic society. So if you are trying to make money, Dude, it just makes no sense to hire somebody that of this size if you need them to be standing up or even work for long periods of time. Weight-based discrimination or weight stigma is the discriminatory treatment of people based on their size and weight. And I bet 100% she's totally okay with that in certain circumstances. Like if you were to actually have an argument with this person and tell them like, hey, but like, what do you think about like, for instance, if there was jobs that required somebody to be more physically active or a job that required somebody to be standing up for a long period of time or to be working a long period of time, do you think it's practical to hire somebody of these higher body fat percentages to do these particular jobs? Most of the time, if these people are level-headed people, they'll say, no, it's not practical. But like that's the other thing. If you're if you're telling me that's not okay, then why are you even having this argument to begin with, bro? Like what are you actually fighting against, man? Like the doctors discrimination, medical discrimination, in those particular areas where doctors do not do not give you procedures or they don't they don't advocate for certain things for you most of the time it's because they have experience in that particular thing like let's say for instance you need a surgery dude there's no way they're going to be able to do a surgery on somebody that's two three four hundred pounds over what they should be because the surgery could be actually deadly to that person like just going under anesthesia could literally kill these people and then also there's a ton of complications when it comes to being this size in doing surgeries or general medical practices it, it just in a very, very general sense. It's just not practical under most settings. It can lead to exclusion, marginalization, and inequities. Newsflash. Weight isn't just about eating habits, genetics, metabolism, mental health, and money play big roles. Oh, okay. It's just the way that that word, like, it was all, okay, my bad. Because it didn't, it didn't, it didn't end off. It, it, the way it should have said was, weight isn't just about eating habits. 
genetics metab like it should have been like that instead it like carried through like it was just one sentence okay weight isn't just about eating habits is true but it's very disingenuous to include all this other stuff because the biggest problem is the, the eating habits okay like for 99 percent of people if you say hey Why'd you gain weight? 99% of people would have to say eating because that is the main reason. Sure, genetics might play a role. Sure, metabolism might, m metabolism might play a role. Mental health, 100%. Money play a big role, 100%. Yes, but it's very, 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 um, in my opinion, disingenuous to not outline the biggest issue when it comes to weight gain, which is the eating habits. You understand? Like, it's just what you're basically doing is like a drop in the bucket compared to everything else. When you lump all this stuff together and then you go, this is the main reasons you're you're basically equating all of this together right how many reasons are there here one eating habits one two three four so basically if you're dividing it up into four you're saying each one of these is like 25 percent, right because 25 25 25 25 would be 100 percent. meaning like these are all the problems but it's not it's not like that realistically what it could be is eating habits is probably more close to like 90 to 95 percent and everything else here is like two to one percent okay metabolism genetics like you can't really control these things and then also mental health to a certain degree it's you know what i'm saying like these things are what you're what you're what you're realistically doing is because when you're when you're putting this all out and you're dividing it out into these like pie charts you're you're putting it all equal status but it's not equally status it's not it's the eating habits is the number one thing but i understand why they have to do this because they want to take away from the eating the eating is the bigger problem so they want to make sure that when they when people watch the video they're seeing that that pie chart distribution right and they're going okay this is the main reasons right all these things are the problems and it takes away from the eating so they don't want to like focus on that because they know that is the main problem it's actually really really uh terrible Blaming it all on overeating. That's ignorant. It's okay. Again, it's the majority of people are overeating. The majority of people are eating too many calories, and that's the reason why they're fat. Are you gonna tell me the sizes that the size that you are right now is not indicative of the fact that you ate too much? How is it that I am supposed to go off of any of this other stuff? Okay, genetics, dude. Come on, come on. Genetics play a role in the weight that you are in the sense of like how wide your shoulders are, how wide your hips are, how tall you are and things like that. You can maybe stack more weight on that. But again, like what are we even supposed to do about genetics, dude? I hate when they bring up genetics because this is not even something you can control. If you're talking about genetics, this would be like calling up your mom. Like, my fucking mom, I can't believe that you gave me these outrageously terrible genetics that let me gain weight. Even though you and mom are like really, really, really thin. I can't believe that you gave me these genetics. If anything, you should call your mom and dad be like, thank you so much, mom and dad, for giving me these outrageous genetics because I look so amazing. Thank you so much for birthing me into this world. I look amazing because of you guys. That's what you should be saying, actually. But And the metabolism, too. Dude, you guys have blown out your metabolisms, dude. You guys are literally eating, like, at least. If you're maintaining, I don't know how much this woman weighs. I'm going to give her probably 320. No. I'm going to give her, like, 300 and some change, probably around 400 pounds, right? These people are probably eating close to around four to 5,000 calories a day easily. And they're sitting there and they're they're claiming out these things, try to, trying to belittle the main reason, which is the eating habits. And it's really, really crazy because, dude, all this other stuff is literally minuscule in comparison to the eating. If you got your eating down pack, most of the stuff would come into play as well. It would domino effect. If the eating habit got in check, everything else would be pretty good. FYI, some states and cities actually have laws against weight-based discrimination. Yeah, that's true. Like in New York City, there is a weight-based law that you can't discriminate based off of weight, which is very, very dumb. I haven't read into the law, though. I don't know how in-depth that law goes. I wonder if you can just hire somebody that literally is physically incapable for doing a job uh, that li you literally need them to do physical activity and they just can't do it. Is it or do, can you just hire them? Like, is that is that the thing? Like, hey, um, yeah, you came here for the job interview today. And we need you to stand up for like eight hours a day. And it says here, uh, you don't have legs. Oh, well, you're hired. You're hired. Come on in. Is that is that what it is? I don't know. But weight-based weight -based discrimination in all, like in, in not all settings. Like you might have a case for office work. If you're sitting down for a large period of time, a lot of people work from home. Maybe you could do that. I don't know. Um, but if you're talking about like jobs where you have to work for work for long periods of time or it's like far away from the home or even setting down for a long period of time, I've talked to a lot of fat people and I know anecdotally, a lot of fat people have a hard time with the energy management where they're consistently tired and they are, their, their hormones are com completely out of whack. So they have really, really hard times focusing or um, getting jobs done because they're so incredibly energy inefficient. So there's that too. Like these things are all things that you have to 
put into account, right? Like it's not just something as simple as this person's fat. It's not a big deal because they're going to be sitting down for hours at a time. That's true, but they're also going to be working for those entire periods of time. Like how much work is going to be productivity? How much of that work is them just going to be sitting down? How much of that work is them going to be like going over to the copy, coffee machine or whatever the fuck? Like there, there's a lot of things you got to put into uh, into effect here. It's not just something as simple as like, oh yeah, you're fat. Therefore, uh, if you're going to be sitting down for nine hours a day, it should be fine. No, it's not like that. There are also advocacy groups out there fighting for more protections. Wait. By the way, that's her husband back there. I think that's her husband, right? Dude, you don't have a cart. You couldn't put it in the cart right in front of your, your wife here, dude. You could easily just put this right here. Instead, okay, whatever, dude. Big man carrying the water. Face discrimination often intersects with other biases. Man, I hate this, bro. I really hate when they say this stuff because they like when when they when I hear this, right? When they go, it intersects. If you don't know what intersection means, basically what they're saying is like when they're talking about discrimination, right? They'll bring in other groups such as women, black people, uh, other marginalized groups. So I guess minorities in general, they'll try to throw them together. And I find that the reason why they do this is probably because it increases their their spectrum that they have because just being fat in general like nobody takes you serious like if somebody said like i'm suffering weight discrimination people look at you like okay bro like catch a fucking diet bro go to the fucking gym stop being so goddamn fat dude your forehead is big right that's what people will usually tell you but when you throw in black people when you throw in women when you throw in asian guys k-pop and shit people then go oh this has more value because people usually take the discrimination based off race and gender way more serious compared to weight so uh if you could somehow manage to like throw those in if you can somehow like fusion dance those things together then it would be way more valuable when in reality these people have no claims like they have to do this otherwise like people don't take them serious Imagine being judged for your race and weight at the same time. Yeah, but like, okay, for one, race is not something you can change. It's not like black guys can just wake up uh, one day and be like, I'm sick of being black. I'm not going to be black anymore. Being black, it just, it's just the worst. Ugh, I hate it. And then they just like, you know, manifest themselves as a white dude or a K-pop star or whatever the fuck. Like, it's not going to happen. They can't stop being black. But you, 100%. You don't have to be fat. It's not like a. It's not like something that was just imbued upon you by the gods themselves, and now you have to live with it for the rest of your life. No, you could just eat less. Other biases. Imagine being judged for your race and weight at the same time. But like who? I feel like these people, when they talk about stuff like this, it, it's okay. Look, there's two types of discrimination. Okay, there's systemic and there's individual discrimination. There's systemic. Systemic. Systemic discrimination would be things like Jim Crow, where. Um, the government steps in and it says, you can't, you can't work here, or you can't take this public transit, or you can't do these particular things because of the color of your skin. That is 100%, um, systemic issues. And don't get me wrong. There are even systemic issues that are built in to laws that are not necessarily things that say black people can't go here. Okay. They might be the downward effect of that. And I'll give you an example. It could be when you have laws set in place and go, we need to police this particular area more than other areas, right? And the downstream effect of that is you're, you're, you're imprisoning black people at a much higher rate compared to every other demographic of people. That could be also described as systemic discrimination, right? That could be, that could also be that thing, right? But when we talk about individual discrimination, that's usually what these people are talking about because systemic discrimination is very, very light. Like when you, when you get, when you get discriminized systemically, it's usually very, very small impact type thing, right? Maybe you get pulled over by a cop. Maybe a cop says something, you know, backhanded to you. Um, it doesn't happen as very often because usually that's going to be held up to scrutiny a lot more, right? You can usually see it more often, but the individual discrimination is usually going to be way harder. Like you're going to meet somebody who's just a flat racist that's going to tell you black people are gay and they don't exist and women should never vote and women actually should never have orgasms either because having women's women having orgasm doesn't even make any sense. Like these things are way, 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 way more prominent and they're more impactful for you, right? I wouldn't even doubt it that a white person would have more personal discrimination than a black person would ever have systemic discrimination today that is like modern modern speaking right because it's just way more impactful it hits harder right and uh you see more of it so when i hear these people say this stuff 
I, I always think like, what type of systemic discrimination are you facing? Most of the time it's just bullshit. Most of the time it's like, oh yeah, I went to the doctor. He told me I couldn't get this surgery or I couldn't get this procedure done because I literally couldn't fit into the CT scan, CT scan or the, you know, the, the blood pressure band couldn't fit around my arm and they had to go to the zoo and had to get the one for the elephants or something like that. Like, I hear that and I go, that's not really discrimination. That's just like you're literally outside the realm of the majority of things that are produced for the majority of humans. And then also... If you're talking about like personal discrimination, I don't doubt that you're probably facing personal discrimination. Like people that are looking at you and going, ew, fat people, gross, triple chin, walking through. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt it at all because I know that I've been discriminated based off of things that, I, that in that same vein. I grew up in a very black neighborhood and a very black school. People used to just make fun of me because I was white all the time. I'm not going to hear like bitch and moan about it, right? I'm not like a victim, but I'm just telling you that like I've experienced things like that as well. And I'm not saying that takes away from your experiences, right? But it's also something to acknowledge that it's not unique to you. Like, you're going to experience shit like that regardless. There's going to be tons of bigoted, disgusting people all around the world that are going to say terrible, disgusting things about you. And that's not necessarily, like, an indication of what society is. It's just, like, one or two people that are saying bad things about you. Anyway. It amplifies the impact and makes life even harder for those already facing multiple forms of... It's... Okay. It's really important that we address systemic discrimination. That's really important, right? Trying to to ensure that the government, because usually the government is the one that's like very, very intrusive. If it's just individual discrimination in the sense of like some guy in the street calling you a fat ass or uh, you went into like a school zone or I don't know, you went into like a, a pub or something like that and they said no black people, um, then like, yes, you can call that stuff out too, 100%. Even in those particular scenarios, that's almost never gonna happen though, by the way. Um, most people are nice. Most people are very, very uh, kind to people. Most people, depending on where you live, of course, but most of the time when I'm talking about this stuff, I'm talking about here in the West, in, the, in, in America, most people are nice. Most people are not going to be very, very like <laughs> racist or fat, uh, fat phobic or homophobic. Like you will find those people, but um, just call it out, you know, name and shame. That's really what it comes down to, dude. Discrimination. Like I, the point I'm making there is like, call it out. But if you're telling me like this is negatively affecting your life, it's never going to change because these are individual cases, right? Uh, these are like people. These are like comments on YouTube or these are comments on TikTok or these are like people on the street or these are like people that are, you know, waitresses or whatever. Like if this is what you're talking about, what do you want to do exactly? Like what do you like? How do we how do we police the comment section? Just don't have your comments up, I guess, or just like scroll through your thousands of comments and just pick and choose the ones that you do and do not like. I mean, you could do it, but it's like it's a thankless task. You're never going to stop it. Weight based discrimination is real and harmful. So instead of spreading misinformation, educate yourself. But you didn't actually disprove the point. This person is saying discrimination discrimination is based off of race, religion, or and or sex. It's not based off of your weight or the fact that you couldn't stop eating. This is not shocking. It's just sad on your part. Yeah, this person's wrong. But it's also I see where they're coming from. This you can you can face discrimination based off of all of these things, and it's not necessarily like equal. Like, don't get me wrong, 100%. If you're being discriminated based off your weight, that's nowhere close to being discriminated based off of your race. Like, no nowhere close but the 100 this person is wrong but that's not the point okay like it's not that this person's spreading misinformation you guys are both spreading misinformation like that's that's just what it is you guys i mean you're saying that weight-based discrimination is bad which i agree with it is is bad but simultaneously dude like what are we supposed to do about it you're not even actually outlining the the real problems like what do you mean by weight-based discrimination Please, I need to know. Is it really just the plane tickets? Like where you can't you you can't fit in two plane seats, so you therefore think that the plane should pick up that extra cost for that extra seat? Is that what you're talking about? You talking about the doctor that tells you that the armband can't fit around you? Is that what you're talking about? You talking about the guy with that that you were down at the grocery store and the guy looked by you and he's like, damn, that bitch big as fuck. Is that what you're talking about? Like, please be be specific so we can actually attack attack the problem instead of just saying discrimination makes my life feel bad, therefore we should stop doing it. Can you be more specific than that, please? Google is free. And remember, I, your... I really hate when people do this shit too. Like, oh yeah, stop spreading misinformation. Educate yourself. Google is free, right? You're not actually telling me what's wrong with the statement though. You're just saying that weight-based discrimination is real. Therefore, we should we should not we should not have it and it's bad. Okay. But why is it bad? What is it? And what should we do about it? Instead of sitting there going Google is free, why don't you why don't you actually tell me what we should do instead of just saying Google it, bro? No, man, tell me what the problem is.
Ignorance isn't bliss, it's just lazy. Ignorance is not, isn't bliss. It's just lazy. That's a dumb statement, dude. That is a stupid statement, okay? Ignorance is bliss. Okay, if you don't know, if you're ignorant about something, you don't know it. That's what people, that's what ignorance means. It means like you don't know about this particular thing. I'm ignorant about a lot of stuff and that's okay because I'm not gonna be well equipped for every situation, every time, wherever I am. That's ridiculous. There's no way. You you pick and choose things that you want to be good at. And I'm not saying you can't incorporate other things in that in, in your quest of becoming more knowledgeable. It's so like if you want to learn about video games, maybe play more video games. You want to be good about hair. Okay. Maybe you go to school for hair. But like you can't expect people to have an entire wheelhouse of every single knowledge base on the planet because you think b being ignorant is lazy. That's crazy as fuck, especially coming from somebody that's literally sitting in a cart going through the, the entire store. When I don't even know what this is like a home goods while while your husband is chugging up this water on his arm it's just it's crazy bro i mean like this woman is literally the epitome of laziness by not losing weight but whatever the point i'm making is don't feel bad that you don't know something sometimes it's not even bad to not know something you can usually seed over stuff that you don't know about to other people like for instance if you're not good at fixing cars that's okay because there are mechanics if you're not good at like there, you don't want to talk about this it's such a bullshit claim there are people like if you're not good at fixing like underneath your 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 shit right let's say your 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 water goes out or whatever you hire a plumber you're not good at fixing water systems right that's okay there's guys there's people out there that will fix it for you you're not a bad or lazy person for not knowing how to fix your plumbing in your house that just means that you're not equipped to do it and that's okay so no that's a terrible it's a terrible claim and the lazy argument is actually hilarious <laughs> coming from this person. I mean, look, that's such a beautiful, this is such a beautiful place. Like, I mean, look at, look at this, this whole thing right here is just so beautiful. This woman literally just going through the aisles in this cart. It's just, it's art. It's pure let's, art. Let's talk about being worried about other people's opinions. So this is a massive one. Worrying about what other people think of us is I think the number one barrier that people have when it comes to doing this work, I think that if everyone lived on a desert island on their own and we didn't have to think about how others perceived us, we would just be like, oh yeah, my body's cool, you know, thanks body, whatever. But it's the thought of the way that we are perceived and our standing in society, which is all bullshit, by the way, that stops us from doing a lot of stuff in life. What did you say? Like th There was nothing there. So we act different because we're in society than we would have acted if we were alone by ourselves in a place that didn't have society. Yeah, I, th that is true. That is very, very true. Uh, people act differently depending on where they are. Uh, who would have known? You know, being humans, we're very social creatures. And because we're social creatures and we have created literally society to to be within society, okay? Obviously, yes, that makes sense, right? You're, you know, this is, I don't understand why she would even bring up this point. In order for you to exist, okay, in society, most people live in societies, even if you're like in a rural area or whatever, you're usually working for somebody, okay? And so in order to work for that individual, usually you have to impress that individual. You're not impressing a goat. You're not impressing like a sheep. You're not impressing your like deity to make money off that person. No, you're impressing a person, okay? You're working for an individual. If you have a wife or you have kids or you have a husband or whatever, you're usually trying to impress them. You're trying to work for them. You're trying to do stuff for them because you're social, I'm social. We do stuff for people. I'm doing this for you. I'm not doing this for like, I don't know, maybe like 400,000 years when like aliens come to Earth and they see this video and they're going to watch this video. Hello, aliens, right? But like as it is right now, yeah, humans. I don't understand your point. Of course we do things for other people. Is there something wrong with that? Why is, there, why is that a problem? Way ...that stops us from doing a lot of stuff in life because we feel a deep, deep sense of shame because when we think, of other people judging us negatively. <laughs> yes, I, I agree with this, but are, are you working under the assumption that everything should be permitted? 
only because society, when we do things in that society, maybe somebody thinks it's bad. Like, I'll give you an example. Here in society, we think murder is bad, okay? Do you think that's good? Do you think that if it would be okay if, like, you were off in your own desert island somewhere, like, if you just murdered somebody, that would just be I? Like, that's just cool? Like, you understand what I'm saying here? Yes, there are rules and things and regulations within society, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's just how shit should work if you have, like, a cohesive organization of people that are trying to exist simultaneously within a certain place. Yes, there needs to be rules in that society. Is this, like, what are you advocating for right now? Like, oh, we should all live alone or... The judgment of other people is necessarily necessarily a bad thing because it prohibits you from doing certain activities. That's not that's not bad, by the way. Like not doing certain things might be good. Like I'll give you like an example would be the murder argument. If you grow up in a society and they tell you, yeah, don't kill people, killing people is bad, and you go, I don't like that because we're in a society and they shouldn't tell us to do that. Okay. So like I don't know what the fuck you want us to do, bro. If you live in the society, you're gonna have to abide by the rules. Not always. If you have lower confidence, the deeper that that fear and that shame is going to be. And of course, we all want to be liked. We all want to be loved. We don't want to be the villain and have everyone being like, ooh, boo, you're a bad person and you're really horrible. Like, it's natural to want that. But for that, that feeling about how other people view you to be debilitating in your life, that is a problem. Most people don't have that issue, though. Most people... Most people just want to live their life in a very organic way. They want to have a job where they can work. They want to have a family where they can love. They want to have a house they can live in. They want to have a relatively safe existence where they can call the police whenever something happens or whatever. That's what most people want, okay? Like, most people are not abiding. Like, most people are okay with the laws and the regulations set in place by society, okay? And things change over time. Like, I'll give you an example. 2,000 years ago, it was, like, completely fine to own people, to own slaves, to murder entire civilizations because fuck them I don't like them and they're fucking terrible people so we're just gonna murder them because they said something we don't like that was all okay like 2,000 years ago as we progressed as you, as we progressed in humanity suddenly we go none of these things are okay which is a good thing right I don't think murdering people is good I don't think that enslaving entire genres of people is good I don't think that literally killing entire societies is good and that's a good thing right if your argument is that we are in society and we have to appease other people and therefore that's not a good thing can you go into why that's not a good thing is that because you think the social stigma of doing a particular thing could disapprove of a lot of people. What exactly are you talking about? Being fat? Like being fat in society as it is, it's not good to be fat, but a lot of people tolerate it in the sense of like, it's it's like a whatever thing. It's like, oh, if you're fat, you can go ahead and live it. Certain states, certain countries may have a worse opinion on that. Like for instance, probably some of the Asian countries don't like it as much as the United States. In America, we almost look at it as like a cultural calling card where it's like, yes, we're fat. We can do it. We look how great we are. We're succeeding upward, which is uh, a, not a good thing or a bad thing. Like it's not a good thing to have a fat population, but it's also not a bad thing in the sense of like, we're succeeding so hard that we do have a fat population. I'd rather have a population of people that are very, very overweight than people that are very, very underweight and that are starving. So it's a give and take, right? But I don't even necessarily understand her argument point. Like, there are going to be things that are good and things that are bad within society, and that's okay. Like, this is all under a moral framework. So, someone with lower confidence is so moved by the thought of others judging them negatively that they don't do things that they want to do. Like, murdering people. Like... <laughs> like driving into a crowd of people like i like yes there are things yes there are things that if somebody wanted to do those things and society was like yeah no we don't do that and then you go oh okay and then you don't do them anymore right maybe some people like break out of that and they go to jail right it's okay but if like what exactly are you talking about being fat so like it's not good to be fat all right. There should probably be some social incentives in place that tell people to not be fat because you're literally taking your society. If you don't have any problems with being fat in society, you do realize that's like literally negativing on our societal structure. Right. Like the framework of our society, the infrastructure of human beings is going to be debilitated because they're fat. It's not a good thing to be fat. That's literally a health complication. Just default. A passive ability that's just ticking down your health bar every second of the day. That's not good. So there should probably be some type of incentive in society that tells people, no, it's not a good idea to be fat. But 
here in America, in a lot of westernized countries, you work off the basis of like democracy and freedoms. So you can go ahead and be fat as long as you want to, as long as we have these incentives and free speech, free, free, like people can talk about these things and go, hey, you're fat. And that person goes, yeah, I know, I know I'm fat. I know it's not good. I know it's not a, it's not a very good thing to be fat, but it's okay. People smoke cigarettes. People, you know, abuse alcohol. It's like that. Like if you want to do these things, totally fine if you want to do that, but it's probably not a good idea. As long as you're acknowledging those things, it's probably okay. But like, what do you, what do you, what are you trying to advocate for exactly? And what it is, is really that they hold other people's comforts above their own happiness. Let me repeat that because it's important. When you are so worried about other people's opinions and how people might judge you, you are worried more about someone else's comfort than you are about your own happiness. So being more agreeable versus not so agreeable, it's okay to be selfish. It's okay to understand that you have wants and needs. It's okay to be a person that is taking care of themselves, fine. But if you're saying that worrying about other people and how they think about you is bad, man, I would just, re it would just depend. Like, are you working under the idea that you shouldn't be helping other people? Or are you working under the assumption that how your family, friends, and other people around you view you is not really important? Is that what you're saying? Like, what are you talking about exactly? Bro, I just, I'm so lost. I'm just so lost, man. Like, what do you want exactly? Do you just want people to just not care about how other people look or think about them? Because you don't even believe that. Because if you did, maybe you just, okay. If you are working under the assumption that nobody should care about what other people think about them, then wearing clothes, making money, being, living in a house, having uh, any of this is just, nothing. It's just worthless because why the fuck should you care about having a job? Why the fuck should you care about having a family? Why the fuck should you care about cleaning yourself? Why should you care about any of this stuff? Because you don't care what other people think. And the only reason why we have value on the things that we have right now is because other people, okay, have determined these things to be valuable. And I'll give you a good example. Like these clothes that I'm wearing right now, most people would consider this to be an okay shirt, right? And I'm okay with that. I wear this shirt because I think most people probably think it's okay and I also like the shirt. But if I didn't care, I would just be wearing like a flamingo. Like I would go to the zoo, I'd skin a flamingo and I would just put it over my shoulders and I'd just walk around with a flamingo with his head, with his head flopping around behind me and stuff. That's what I would do because I don't care. I don't care what other people think, right? Why should it matter? There are rules, okay? And there we make our own rules based off of what other people think, okay? Job performance, uh, 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 how you exist in society, driving. Any of this stuff is because we have put value on that stuff, how you drive and how you work throughout the world. So, like, I understand where you're coming from. And I'm not even one of these people that sit there and goes, like, you shouldn't, if you, if you really believe this, then why aren't you acting upon it? Obviously, if you're in a society, you're going to work within the society framework, but you still believe otherwise. It's like being a socialist in America. Like, it's fine. You can believe in socialism, but you also have to live within the capitalistic framework. I'm okay with that. Fine. But these people, like, they, I don't, I, there's such a misunderstanding of the way that they, they act. Everything that we have right now is because society put it together and you think based off those things. Not everything, like, obviously nature and stuff, but you know what I'm saying. And really, who are we thinking about? When we're worried about people who, who judge us. My mom, my job, my fucking boss, the internet, dude. What are you talking about? You you apply this shit to everybody. Yes. Yes. 100%. It's like, you know, Becky from high school. Sure. Who was a complete bitch anyway. Well, she... hold up, bro. Who the fuck was Becky, bro? This woman, I don't know about that, dude. I'm not appealing to Becky. She's gonna be, she's on Facebook, and if you put a new picture of yourself on there and, and you look bigger than you did a couple of years ago, will Becky from high school be like, mm -hmm, look at her, she's got fat. You know, it, are these people that we actually- Is this like, uh, is she projecting right now? Is this a story about her? Is this like, <laughs> do you know Becky? And she said that to you, and now you're, you made a video telling people that you shouldn't feel bad that Becky said something to you and you shouldn't appeal to other people. Sometimes it's okay to have social pressures, social pressures to be put upon you. Like in this scenario, if somebody says, damn, um, dude, I was looking at you like five years ago and you look worse. Like you gained a lot of weight and you look terrible. And then your argument is, well, 
I don't think human beings should have the, I don't think human beings should be applying to other people. I don't think that we should have standards and regulations based off of what other people think of each other, even though that's literally how we do everything in our entire society. I think that people should probably just be their own autonomous human beings and never look outside their own selves and try to like compare and contrast based off of what, or what everybody else thinks. Or could it just be you got fatter and people are noticing and that's probably not a good thing for you. That's probably something you should address. No? Okay. I mean, if this is just your grift, or if this is just like your way of thinking, like I shouldn't have to apply myself to like anybody else because I don't want to change. That's fine. You can go ahead and not change, but don't sit there and try to come up with bullshit points about why society sucks because you're judging yourself based off of what other people think about you. Care about? And if they are people that we care about, um, why the fuck are they being such knobs and ju Ooh. judging us negatively? Bro, if you, okay, look, if you go to your mom and you go, mom, I quit my job, my 100K job, and your mom goes, okay, why? And you go, because I just didn't want to do it anymore. And your mom goes, okay, but did you have another job lined up? And you go, no, I'm going to be, I'm no, no job. I'm just going to coast. And do you, th and your mom goes, I'm disappointed in you. This is obviously something that I don't think you should have done. This is a terrible decision. Are you then just going to go, well, mom, you're fucking wrong. You're a fucking bitch, mom. How dare you tell me that? Like, I know what I'm doing and this and that. What, that's basically what you're saying is like you shouldn't think of what other people say sometimes other people have really good advice sometimes people have like really insightful information that could help you and you just saying like we shouldn't be applying that to people like that why you don't even have like a give and take like you literally just said the people around you friends family relationships like that stuff's like all irrelevant why dude this woman is like borderline this is extreme these are extreme views buckle up because we're about to go on a little educational journey true First things first, I have never said- I'm the realist. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. And I'm still in the murder business. I can hold you down like I'm giving lessons of physics. Little educational journey. First things first, I have never said that obesity is a disability. Which it is. It just depends on, it depends on what level of obesity you are at. If you're so fat that you literally can't walk anymore, it is debilitating. And that's fine. You know, I mean, it's not fine, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's fine to say that it's a disability. It is, but it's terrible because, like, you've literally did it to yourself for the most part. So, if you're here for that argument, you're on the wrong flight. Yeah, so you're not even right about your own point. You never said, first things, I've never said, okay, so you never said it, but it is, uh, it is uh, objectively a disability. If you're so fat that you can't walk, then it is objectively a disability, but go off, queen. Let's be clear. Being fat does not automatically mean you're disabled. True. Repeat after me. Fat and disabled are not the same thing. True. Good job, class. Now, let's talk facts. It's 100% possible to be fat and disabled at True. the same time. Shocking, I know. Yeah, but nobody, nobody is disagreeing with that. Like, obviously, if you're so fat that you can't walk, nobody is disagreeing that you're not disabled. If you can't walk, then it's obviously a disability. Bro, who is this for? Like, who the fuck is hitting this woman up and going, Oh, I guess this guy, right? Obesity is not a disability. Bro, she literally has to go to, like, the worst place. Like, bro, obviously this is a bullshit ass comment, dude. Come on, man. Obesity is not a disability. It's not that it's not a disability. It's not like solely a disability, right? That'd be like if somebody said like, oh, having no legs is not a disability. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? It obviously is. This is a little bit more nuanced, right? Obesity is not a disability in certain frameworks. Like if you're so fat, you can't walk. It is debilitating. And the primary cause would be obesity. But sometimes somebody could be obese and they could walk like your husband, right? There's sometimes that, that applies. So you're just, bro, you're cherry picking. You're cherry picking right now. No, but here I am a living, breathing example. My disabilities don't disappear because I'm fat and my size doesn't negate my disabilities. They coexist. They're like roommates who don't always get along, but they're stuck with each other. Okay. So to all the keyboard warriors out there who love to educate me on my own body and life, please take a seat. And maybe try using Google before you comment, because... Bro, this woman, she has to be just going through her comment section and finding the weakest link ever. Because this is absolutely not the comment you should be attacking. It should be like the comment section, of like, why do you feel so entitled? Why do you think fat people should deserve all this stuff, even though they did it themselves? Why do you feel like you're not going for the real meat of the situation? You're going for the lowest common denominator. The people that are literally like the one off comment that got like maybe one like and it was the guy that liked it himself. This is this is like the lowest shit you could attack, right? This is like 
playing dodgeball, okay? And you got all these ginormous people that you could throw the ball at, right? But instead, you're going for the little nine-year-old boy that's emaciated that fucking doesn't eat anything. That's what you're doing. You're fucking throwing the ball at that kid. That's what you're doing right now. It's not, it's not, it's not, I don't know what, to, I don't know if you think you're strong for doing that. I don't know if you think like this is like such a big accomplishment because you're attacking somebody that's obvious. Like this is a, this is a mentally disabled fucking point of view, okay? Obviously, obesity can be a disability, but it's also not a disability, and you know that it did. <sighs> bro. A spoiler alert. But hashtag Google it, bro. I've never said obesity is a disability. Yeah, but like it's, 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 it's nobody gives a fuck. It doesn't matter if you never said that. It's like nobody is making that claim though. Like, okay, I get it. This person is making that claim, but this is like the one off fucking comment, bro. Most people. Most people are smart enough to understand that if you're fat and you can't walk because of your obesity, it's debilitating. Literally, it is a disability. Yes. Like, but the, the, you're going for like the small, bro, get, get, get away from me. Get away. Not once. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. The world cool. is big enough for all of us. That'd be like me if I had like a comment and somebody said, David, you said you were black in one video. And then I was just going like, it's just one comment, by the way. Like this is a, somebody said like, David, you're not black. You know, and I have to make a whole video describing about I know I never said that I was black and I would never say that I was black. This and this is like it's just one comment. Like it's just such it's such a it, why would you go that deep on just one comment that's irrelevant? Just like the airplane seats should be. Okay. Breaking news from the studio tonight. What's one thing that the world can count on? Why well, it's profile pictureless men being bold, loud. I also think I want to call these people out real quick, dude. Okay. You can find people with profile pictures, bro. Like, can you attack me? T attack me because you don't need to attack the profile as pictures. There are plenty of people on YouTube or even on TikTok that fundamentally disagree with your claims and they probably even stitch your videos. Instead, you guys focus on the nameless, the nameless, the profile pictureless people and you choose to focus on these people when there are plenty of other people that are literally attacking your points. Focus on me. Why not? I don't know. Like if you if you if you're upset that somebody's commenting something on you that is in your comment section and it's it's profileless why not attack the people or why not at least antagonize the people that are actually saying stuff like me or other people in the community? Why not them? It's like, it's I don't know, such a bullshit point. That the world can count on why it's profile pictureless men being bold, loud. There's no such thing as fat phobia. People aren't afraid of fat people. Like you guys go for the lowest man. I can't like, man, you guys are, you guys pick, you are literally picking easy mode fights right now. You're picking easy mode fights right now. Okay, dude. Obviously when people say fat phobia, Nobody thinks that they're scared of fat people, okay? Like, that, it's like when somebody goes, you're homophobic, and they, you think that people that are homophobic are the dudes, like, walking down the street, like, when they see a, a person wearing a, a pink crop top and their nails are painted, and they go, ah! You think they're doing that? No, they know what fucking fat phobia means, okay? we like, Can we just act like we have some common sense for a second, dude? When somebody says fat phobia, nobody's thinking they're actually scared of fat people, and most people, 99% of people, know that fat phobia means that you have this you don't want to be fat i don't want to be fat i think being fat is bad that's what people are thinking they're not thinking they're just scared of fat people like you're walking around with a fucking scream mask with a knife nobody's thinking that okay nobody's running in fear of fat people obviously and so like you making this video this entire video just to reply to this is fucking crazy because you're attacking a bullshit point when you there are people that are making literal claims like actual claims against your ideology and you're not going for those people completely lacking in critical thought crazy but i'm feeling generous tonight so let's give this little guy a vocabulary lesson if you bothered to ever learn past an elementary school comprehension level you would understand that fat phobia is in fact not the literal fear of fat people but rather the fear of being treated as fat people are treated such a dunk you know like she's just straight up dunking on this guy obviously this nameless this this profile person like it's just crazy because like nobody this would be like somebody making a video okay and the video is like this it's like oh, bro i have to take this wild stance guys okay I've been thinking about this and I know I'm going to get a lot of, I know I'm going to get a lot of pushback from this. I know I'm going to get a lot of pushback from this, but I'm going to make the claim. I'm going to die on this hill. I think firefighters are good. I know. All right. Stop guys. All right. I know it's going to be crazy. I, I, I can already sense it. It's going to be tons of hate in the comment section. I know it's going to be tons of people that disagree with me. I get it, but I, I'm, I'm prepared to die on this hill. I just think that they're good people. I think they, 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 they save kittens and they save people from buildings and they put them out. It's just, it's just I don't know. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I just like them. I just think they're good people overall, objectively speaking. Like it's such a, it's such a point 
that doesn't even need to be said. It just, it's so obvious. Do you think anybody's going to disagree with you? Do you think like anybody's looking at this and going, wow, you, you really dunked like you slay queen. Oh my God. This is your, this is your moment. You did that. You absolutely did that. Slay queen. You ate, you ate for real. No, nobody's doing that shit. People are looking at that shit and going, why did you make an entire fucking video just dunking on somebody and they're nameless like your work like attack me attack other people that actually have words not only are fat people judged and discriminated against daily in our society for daring to exist while fat but they are also literally discriminated against in the medical field hmm. in the job field and the list goes on but let's get to the real core of this phobia shall we the number one thing fat people are deemed in this world is undesirable specifically to the white cis straight male gaze but that's another video oh oh it's just it's just too bad man that shit just leaves a okay hear me out if anybody ever says the white male cis i'm automatically on fucking i'm automatically just probably devaluing everything that you say bro that shit is so cringe bro are you're the fear really lies in projection, my friend. Just because you couldn't handle it if the world judged you for the way you looked and- you're, you're attacking ghosts right now. Where are you getting projection from this? Where are you getting projection from this, dude? A two, a two sentence, a two sentence comment, you're getting projection from this? Bro, these people, bro. No one wanted to date you for the way you look. Who, who, who said that? Who said that? Why are you even bringing up dating at all? What does this have to do with anything? Did this person, hold up, let me, do I have to pull up my magnifying glass? Do I need to pull up my, do I need to really investigate this for a second, dude? I don't see dating at all. I don't see the projection at all. This person doesn't even have a profile picture. What are you going off of? All right, bro, you're attacking ghosts. Like you're literally battling Patrick Swayze right now, except you're making your own arguments. Wow, you're so cool. You can attack your own points. You for the way you looked and no one wanted to date you for the way you looked or people assumed why is this relevant exercised based on the way you looked Does people assume you don't exercise based off the way you look because if you're very very obese if you're very very fat and or obese and you're exercising that's fine you can do that but how the fuck are you still fat after like there could be transitional periods where you're fat and you're losing weight and then in the process of losing weight and going to the gym and all that stuff you're still fat because it takes a while to lose all that weight but if you're not doing that with the intention of losing weight and you're working out that's bad for you okay like you there are ways to work out like if you're running for instance and you weigh an extra 100 or 200 pounds on your body not good for your joints actually terrible you should be trying to lose weight and then do those exercises because it would be way better for you doesn't mean that every single fat person feels that fear but oh man does it bother you to see fat people live in their lives oh we well i've reached my charity limit for faceless men this week but Tune in How do you even know this is a man? <sighs> Next week, as I'm sure there will be another one who won't show his face, but will show all the audacity. Well, it's... Too easy, bro. Too easy for these people, man. Just go off of this shit. Just creating their own enemies. It's quite simple. If things, things that would make me act up on flights as a normal size, as a normal size passenger. Your body spilling over to my seat because you're so big for your own seat. Yeah, uh, that would make me upset too, bro. If I paid for a seat and you paid for a seat and now I'm getting the, I'm literally paying the same money as you, but you're intruding on my space. That's an issue, 100%. But I think J-Bay buys her own seats, like two seats separately. So. If you're bothered by the idea of someone spilling into your seat, then you should be all in for the plus size travel petition. That's not how that works, first of all, dude. Okay, there are many... Most people are okay with the way that the airline industry is right now. They don't want to pay extra money. They don't think that it's probably it's not a it's not a valid claim for them to have to dispose of extra income for another seat or a bigger seat so that way they don't have to have the other person next to them spill over on theirs because the the product of having two seats instead of three seats is you have to pay more money for that seat. You understand? Because you're picking up the price for the half of the other seat. The changes proposed would solve the very issue you're trying to use as an example. 
but instead your anti-fatness is showing with your ignorant comments. These people literally, they need to actually have conversations, dude, because they're, they're, they're a literal attacking comments that don't have any substance or anything like that. It's just like one or two sentences and then they go off on it and they go, you're wrong because this, 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 and this, when that person didn't say any of that shit. Like, okay, would it be better? Would it be a good... If this person has a problem with sitting in a chair and having a fat person spilling over on their chair, would it solve their problem if the seats were bigger? Yes. But as a byproduct of the seats getting bigger, now this person and everybody else on the plane now has to pick up the cost, the price tag of those seats expanding because contrary to popular belief, you can't just create bigger spaces on the inside of things. You can't just do that. Something needs to give and something needs to take. So the plane needs to expand or you need to reduce the seat capacity or you need to to reduce people on the passenger to reduce the people on the on the actual flight itself something needs to give and usually that means more money for the person that is taking the flight so yes it would solve the problem but now you introduce even more problems as a consequence of that when the solution in general could just be practice good health care understanding that dying exercise is important not intruding on other people's space is actually a good thing it's about time that all of society realized that supporting inclusivity benefits everybody, including yourself. True, man. I mean, obviously. That extra price ticket? Don't worry about it. Time to drop the ignorance and hop on board the inclusivity train. Projection, dude. Uh, uh, drop the... Drop the... You gym rats love to troll in my TikTok comments saying all kinds of things about bigger women. <laughs> But guess what? Those same guys are sliding into my Tinder messages every single day. Why do you have your Tinder? Aren't you dating somebody? I'm, I'm, I think she's, if she's not, dude, she has a guy. Oh, okay. You know what? No, I remember now. She's looking for somebody to be polyamorous with, I think. I think she's looking for another guy to be polyamorous with. Is Tinder the right place for that, though? Oh, dude, it's, it's not a diss either. Like, just because guys are hitting you up in your comments and going like, hey, it's not good to be fat. And then you go, oh, oh, really? Well, guess what? I have guys that are hitting me up and they think I'm hot. Okay, that's that's awesome. Wow, you really proved my fucking point, dude. You, re you really you really owned, bro. This video could literally just be surmised in like one or two words. Battling yourself, creating your own problems, and then finding ways to for the solutions. Like playing, it's like playing poker with yourself, literally. Like two people on the opposite side. You're the dealer, you're the player, and you're the other player. And you just know all the cards simultaneously. And you still lose. That's that's it. You still fucking lose somehow. This is really what that is, man. But whatever. Slay Queen. Make it make sense. I'm happy that she's getting guys hitting her up, though. She did say she's looking for a polyamorous relationship with her and her boyfriend. Uh, man. And, uh, I mean, hey, if that's what you want to do, that's completely fine. Uh, you know, Jay Bay's open for it, though. Society wants to convince you that only one type of body is desirable. Who's saying that, though? Really? Is, uh, really? Is that what they're saying? What society are you talking about, dude? Our society? The West? Over here in the West? I think we're pretty dynamic in our sizes. But the truth is far more interesting. Many guys, yes, even those hardcore gym enthusiasts, are attracted to bigger women. You can keep projecting your insecurities in my comments. But it won't change the facts. She's beautiful. I mean, she's a beautiful lady. Uh, I hope that her quest of her polyamorous relationship works out. I hope that she finds everything she's looking for. I don't know how she. I don't know how she could say that. Me, you, and everybody else are projecting when she's obviously the one that's actually projecting. I don't know, but that's what she's up to, bro. That's what she's doing. She's looking for a new guy. She's uh, proven points that don't even exist, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I want to thank everybody that watched the video today. Uh, if you did watch the video today, I would appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in magic because you're here with me right now through the process of magic, which is basically what the internet is. I mean, think about this. If we went back 2000 years ago, right? And we said, hey bro, and they go, hey, how did you, how do you like communicate with people in the future? And you go, oh yeah, we just like sit down on screens. We just like, we literally just sit down on screens and we just communicate with each other through this like, this, this signal thing through the airways that can connect us to other people through the airways. They could be literally across the entire world. They would look at you and they would probably kill you right away because you're saying straight blasphemy. Um, because that is blasphemy 2,000 years ago. It just kind of makes it makes you really think about like the circumstances we're in right now. We're literally using magic to some people. But anyway, 
Speaking of magic, you're magical. Magical beyond belief. Majestic, beautiful, uh, awesome person. I bet when it rains out, you don't even need an umbrella. I bet the rain automatically just comes around you. Almost kind of like you have a ethereal, an ethereal coat of, of, of just air around you at any point in time that's repelling the the water and then you could turn it off because sometimes you want to feel the rain on your skin nobody else can feel it for you only you could let it in no one else no one else F speak the words on your lips or whatever it's yeah that too whatever man it doesn't matter you're beautiful you're amazing I, I care about you a lot i want to lick your eyebrows you smell so good today i really think that outfit that you're wearing looks really really good wow but even the shoes look pretty good and you usually wear crocs wow they look really good today though and your toes contoured beautiful absolutely amazing you smell good Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All that stuff will be listed in the channel description and the, ch and the description of this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.